When it comes to our native species, some of our most unique friends, like these mahogany gliders, are also our most elusive and endangered. But we can give them a helping hand, thanks to some very tiny technology. Hi, I'm Julia, and here at UQ's Native Wildlife Facility, we're using microchips to help care for our native wallabies and gliders. Like most captive wildlife, our mahogany gliders and bridled nail-tail wallabies all have a small radio frequency microchip implanted just under their skin. Usually these are just used for identification, but we can use microchips in another very important way. This is a microchip automated feeder. It contains a scanner which can read an animal's microchip when it comes close. So when our hungry glider approaches, its microchip is scanned and the lid automatically opens. But if an animal without a microchip tries that, the lid won't open, leaving the food inside for the animals we do want to feed. Devices like these are an exciting development in captive wildlife management because microchip feeders reduce human-animal interaction, which encourages our animals' natural instinct to track down their food supply, just like they would in the wild. The same microchip automated technology can be used with these door flaps so our gliders and wallabies can access a safe place. It takes a long time to train our animals to use these feeders and doors. We have to gradually expose them to the sound and motion of the doors before they trust them. To study their progress, we use remote surveillance cameras. Luckily, these cameras can see in the dark. We can even set up our microchip automated feeders and shelters in the wild to help reintroduce species back into their native environment. This is called a soft release. Because our released animal has been trained to use the automated feeder and doors, it means they have access to a supplementary food supply and safe refuge from potential predators if they need it. So this technology could lead to a real improvement in the success of wildlife reintroduction programs. But for animals that aren't quite ready for the wild, our microchip automated devices can help our native species feel at home, right here in captivity. It's all about replicating aspects of the wild. Our research aims to integrate microchip automated technology into wildlife management programs all around the world. And that will help vulnerable species just like this little guy stick around for a long time. <laughs>